I've got a couple of these Eagle Tree alerters because I think they're a 12 quid. Um, it's it's something that I've been waiting for for the Vector for a long, long time now. Uh, I've tried actually hacking into the Vector to give me some LED notice outside of a frame and also to see if I can connect a buzzer to it, but no, I can't do it. So I, I saw these things and I thought I'd buy a couple of them. Anyway, I've got one hooked up to the Skywalker. Now, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually the bottom connector on there, that one, which just goes into the bus port of basically anything that'll accept a bus. Um, where's my GPS gone? Oh, there you go. It could go into the GPS if you got it, or you can just put it into the PITO airspeed sensor. So, I've taken this one apart. <laughs> because I wanted to know how it works, there's just a pick chip on it basically and those two things on the bottom are, are the buzzers now you won't believe how loud that thing is, I, I am absolutely shocked so when you plug your USB in that's basically all it does um, now what you have to do is enable it in, it's under, I think it's under accessories, accessory setup and then you uh, set it all up in there. So what it does is, I've got my radio switched on, and when I connect the battery, it will then go through its cycle. And when the green one's just flashing, it's basically um, is it a I don't get it. So I figured out that I've got my uh, battery milliamp set to uh, zero, so it immediately throws up an error. So now when I turn this on. I just need to know what that blue flashing light's for. Now if I turn my turn my radio off that's set on the lowest possible uh, volume it'll actually go on and it's still quite deafening. I really can't believe the volume of those things. So get one. It's fully configurable. Absolutely superb.